So hello and welcome everyone to this session uh, at the in school. Uh, on behalf of the in school and urban school, I welcome you all and uh, uh, very thank you. Thank you. Thanks to all of you for joining us. So are you can we have uh, you on the video as well? And yes, sir, can we have you on the video as well? Yes. How are you? I'm good. Are you? How are you? I'll take time to uh, come on video. Okay, fine. Okay. You can you can come. Why are you taking time? <laughs> no, you don't have the to groom, so you can come. Yes, uh, we would like to see you. Before we start, uh, uh, I I can even have uh, opinions from audience as well. So, uh, audience, would you like to see Jayasir on video? Yes or no in the chat section. Quickly. A lot of people are saying yes. Oh, yes, finally, is finally it? Finally, <laughs> have him. Hi, Ayo. Finally, you got there. Yeah, yeah. What are you? Yeah, yeah, I have some, but uh, <laughs> that's how we grow in domaining. That's how we grow here. Yes. <laughs> okay, so, so we finally have all of you here. And uh, before we begin, uh, it has been long time since I have also been here on the videos. So first of all, I would like to ask all of you, how is everyone doing? I hope everybody is doing well, and especially with your sales at the domain. And especially with your domain sales. Uh, so can I have few answers in the chat section? Come on, guys. I think nobody is in the mood of answering, I think. So let's start. I can session. see Shukar. Shukar in the audience. I think he has some good sales on Clubhouse as well as Outbound. So Shukar, would you like to say something on that? He's, he's been selling you know, through Outbound. Yeah, anybody who would like to come up and speak about the sales or anything like that, I can uh, hand over the mic to you and we can yeah. speak. Shukur, if you'd like to come, we can you know hand over the mic to you, Shukur. You can also share with, uh, with us your experience in selling uh, first name, last name, Shukur. Absolutely. Okay, I cannot see anybody raising hand or interested in speaking, but in case you want to speak, you can let me know anytime. So, uh, the Karan, yes. Karan is my student from Punjab and it got some few sales in March. Can you type in Karan, your sales? Anybody who would like to come up and speak? If you want to come up and speak, you can come. Okay, Karan, I'll just Should I invite you? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, fine, you can speak in Hindi. I'll just hand over the mic to you. Hi. Hi, Karan. 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 Hi, मेरी मार्च में तो बहुत अच्छी सेल्स हुई थी मैंने मार्च में वेब नीच सेलेक्ट किया था तो उसमें मैं आपको अभी मेरी शीट से दिखाता हूं उसमें मेरी क्या सेल्स हुई थी करण पाजी वेब नीच से थोड़ा मतलब वेब एजेंसी इन वेबसाइट लाइक दैट पाजी तो हां जी मैं थाने दस दना जिदा एनवाई वेब एजेंसी मैं सब तो फर्स्ट आई हैव गॉट कम टू हिंदी 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 बिकॉज़ फ्रॉम अ सॉरी 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 हां हां एंड एनवाई वेब एजेंसी डॉट कॉम मेरी फर्स्ट सेल थी ओके okay. उसके बाद मैंने बेचा होनोलुलू डिजिटल मार्केटिंग 160 टेनेसिनी वेबसाइट डिजाइन 185 कैंटकी वेब डिजाइनर 100 डॉलर्स लास वेगस वेब डेवलपमेंट 75 ओनली Arkansas web designer 150 and website design Arkansas for $90 to same buyer. Nice. And they all were in March. Yes. All were in March and March, so, ke, March ke last char dhano mein jay sari sales hui hai. Only in four days. Or is a March mati, right? Or Jee. outbound get through. Jee, outbound. Yeah, outbound. Yeah. 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 Ye
कोई नहीं हो जाएंगे होता है कभी कभी and uh, last me what can be done hitesh will summarize the whole session in hindi okay yes main to hitesh sir ko thank you bolna chahunga unhone meri bahut help ki hai isme we will learn from our uh, guest speakers who have joined us okay. for the first time and we will do another webinar in hindi okay, okay sir okay sir चलो थैंक यू करण फॉर योर सेल्स और पंजाबी में करेंगे एक दिन थैंक यू एंड हु इज द नेक्स्ट पर्सन हु वांट्स टू डिस्कस विद सेल्स कम अप रेज योर हैंड मार्गेट खता मार्गेट खाबा इज द वर्ड या सॉरी इफ आई मिस प्रोनाउंस योर नेम गो हेड हां वी वी हैव गिवन यू द एक्सेस यू कैन यू हैव गिवन योर एक्सेस यू कैन स्पीक नाउ Najid Khattab, where are you? I think he just left. He left. No, no, he's there. He's still there. Okay. Still there. It's one one of my audience in. Uh, oh, nice, nice. Okay. Welcome, Magad. How are you? Based in Egypt. Wow, oh, nice, nice. Magad, you have an option to speak. You can speak now. I'm speaking, but your mic is off. I think so. I think your mic is off, Magad. If you see your mic is off. Yeah, you are not connected to the audio. I'm using my PC. Asking. Is saying you have to connect with He's the audio. He's not connected to the audio. He's not con- connected okay. to the audio. He needs to connect to the audio. Yeah. Magad, you need to connect yeah. with your audio on on the system. On the left side of your screen, if you are on the laptop, on the left side of your screen, you see a mute button. Uh, a mic uh, basically click a uh, arrow on that and select your speaker and microphone from that select same as system or uh, whatever the option you are getting then you we will be able to, able to hear you or maybe are you if you can uh, valid, explain yeah, him in valid, arabic uh, maybe he would be able to easily understand that majid mumkin an taquma bi taghir تغيير الميكروفون موجود في في الحاسوب او ان تقوم باستعمال الهاتف الخاص بك حتى يشتغل لك الميكروفون اوكي باي ذا وير اي انديرستاند انجلش فيري ويل اي دونت هاف اني بروبلم وذ انجلش اوكي يو كان يوز يور فون ات ويل ورك He's saying he'll sign out. He'll sign out and sign in from his phone now. Yeah, he will. Yeah, sure. So in the meantime, if anyone else is there, or maybe we can start. Yeah. Anyone else who wants to speak, or shall we begin? Okay, I don't think any uh, somebody uh, is there to speak, but who um, I cannot read the name. Probably has not entered the name. Okay, I'm just allowing you to talk, and then you can let us know your name as well. Is there someone else also raised his hand from the attendees? Hi, guys, do you hear me? Yeah, we can yeah. hear you. Yes, we can. Okay, I'm sorry for my name. It uh, because I was in a hurry. I was using my phone, then I shifted to my computer, and I, I don't have made the same email as anyway. Long story short. No issues. Long Welcome, story short. Magad. Uh, um, I'm doing uh, outbound marketing. I am. I created my uh, some Python scripts to scrap emails from uh, yellow pages of Canada, yellow pages of the U.S., uh, some local um, uh, local websites that I can reach with emails. Then I try to contact them manually, so I don't use any automatic, um, automatically, um, automatically, automatic way to 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 outbound uh, the emails. And I'm looking for. Uh, 
for some for uh, an, a web application that can do this for me and it's preferably using api because i am a web developer and they don't like to use the ui thank you so much okay. thank you margaret so, so you're basically here to learn how you can you know make your outbound fully automatic right yeah because i'm scrapping nice. emails i'm scrapping a number phone numbers i don't want to use sms marketing for the time being because it's costly email marketing right. is for right. free you and I want, I want something with apis most probably you are, most you are using doctor car car software uh, to scrap email no i'm using my own I, i'm using my own script i am a developer okay okay very nice very nice if you want to get share from yelp and yelp and all and then uh, how do you get the, those emails that is also through the automated system or you do it manually uh, for the emails uh, for example uh, my script is using selenium first of all okay. i go to the web page i i scrap mm -hmm. uh, first i scrap the the total pages then i go page by page okay. i scrap urls and from every urls i go inside that web page and i scrap the uh, the uh, the phone number as well as the company okay. name and I scrap everything okay. up and I create an Excel file with all the emails I want. And, and this is it. It's not that complicated. So you, you are getting the emails from their websites, directly from their websites, right? Yeah, exactly. From uh, First, from Google search. And then I'm scrapping the first 10 pages. Mm -hmm. Then from that, I'm going okay, so far. Good, good, good. good. That, that's all the automated system. Very nice. Yeah, I can see this, but now I'm stuck in the, uh, the API to send emails. I have one. Okay. I have someone. Mm -hmm. I can just Google them, but uh, I want something that it's efficient. It goes to the it, it goes to the inbox. I don't want to go to the promotions section or the spam. You send emails using uh, Gmail or professional email? Even for the Gmail, I created an automated uh, automated script. What it does, I what I do is if I can send emails through Gmail, we're just using SMTP, which I don't mm -hmm. want to use because I can just send um, if I send HTML. Uh, HTML uh, emails, I can most probably I will go to the spam even with Gmail SMTP. That's yes. why I use plain text. But if I use plain text, I will lose the ability to track emails because I want to track the open and the non open emails, right? So I created a script that I just created emails that goes to the drafts. And from the drafts, I just go there and every hour I send manually 10. Mm. I just click 10, 10, I just click send, send, send. So my script is is sending emails to the drafts. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Have you ever but used? I, I, I saw. Okay. I I followed uh, Mr. Kihal. Uh, Mr. Okay. Kihal. Uh, Mr. Kihal is doing the same thing. I think you're in the right hands now. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. This is Jay, it. Jay, Jay, you're not audible. Your mic, mic. Yeah, your mic is off. Test. Do you hear me? Yes. Jay, sir, you need to unmute yourself. We can't hear you. Yeah, Jay, Jay, unmute yourself. Now, is it good? Do, do I need to mute? No, or no, not you, not you, Magid. Uh, we're talking not to you, Jay. Yeah. You, you Jay, can also Jay, mute. Sir. Yeah. Jay, 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 Jay you're, not, you're not able to hear you. Mute your mic. Unmute mic. No, I think so. He's not speaking to us. He's speaking to I someone else on the phone. Maybe, maybe. Uh, he's speaking to someone else on phone. I yeah, don't think I... so. He is looking to the camera. I think he's speaking to us. I speak. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, so everything is automatically done. But I have, I, 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 when I just started, I sold a website, I sold a domain name for the Canadian market in upon three, the first three days with this method. Great. Uh, yeah, this is the first. I even sold a Canadian domain that I, I cannot even sell because the Canadian extension, you cannot have it if you don't live in Canada. But I could sell it even before the Sarah could know that I am not even living in Canada. You know it? So I sold it before even I got troubles. I didn't know about that in the beginning, but then I realized, fuck it, I can't do this anymore. And the issue that I have right now is um, maybe the first one is EPI to send emails because I don't like to do this manually. From the draft, I go to the draft and I start sending from the draft because it's more easier for me, but I don't like it. It's even even painful for me. I don't like even to go to the drafts and click send. I do everything automatically. I create the body of the email. I, I added the emails to the BCC or to the CC. I just go to the drafts and start sending, but I don't like to do this as well. I want something automatically done with a cheap price. This is the first problem that I have. And the second problem that I have is um, 
The second problem that I have is follow up and shit because I'm doing this using Gmail and it's not a platform that I can do a follow up and everything. So I need I need to do I don't like manual. I wish that I have a platform with APIs, of course, that I can see the opened one automatically send a follow up like Mailchimp. I want something automatically done. I don't want to follow up with the client manually. I hope that you get my idea. Thank you. Have you have you ever used okay. uh, Hunter and Smart.io? I use Hunter.io for tracking my emails from the drafts because because the, this fucking mail track, the, the, the mail track, it's an HTML, an HTML, uh, this one that it's added to the email to track it. It's really hard to do it automatically. So I used uh, Hunter.io just for tracking my emails, but I didn't use it for automatic stuff. No, not yet. Okay, uh, thank you so much for sharing. I think we are getting late, already late for the session. So thank you so much. You yeah. Thank Bye -bye. you. Thank you Mujit, for sharing. And uh, let's now, without any delay, let's yes. now come on to the session. So guys, today's session is on learning outbound strategy for the uh, geo domain names. And tonight we have with us Ms. Ayub Kahil, who yes. specializes into the outbound strategy for domain names. Now he has been uh, into sales from a long time and is not, and when you talk about domaining, now he has specialized into the sector uh, in the outbound, outbound strategy for selling the domain names, uh, for the selling geo domain names. And to briefly introduce Ayub, he is an internet marketer, YouTube instructor, and a digital marketing consultant. Apart from these, he has always he has also been the first instructor to teach domaining to the Arab area. Ayub, I welcome you to this session for, by uh, DN School and Urban School on outbound strategy. And we look forward to learning uh, much more from you, especially in selling uh, the domain names because outbound sales pro probably is one of the best ways to generate revenue in domaining as far as I know. So I welcome you to this session and look, we look forward to hearing you. Apart from this, we have with us Utsa Suri. And uh, to be very honest, I take an immense pleasure in welcoming Utsa Suri with us because there's a, one reason behind this and that is like Utsa started his re journey recently in domaining. And that was probably when uh, we started uh, the sessions on domaining and he was one of the learners there. And I must call him a passionate learner and a quick grasper who has now made around 100 sales and that to mostly through outbound sales. Apart from this uh, uh, and his passionate learning and uh, the zeal to learn, probably let's say the zeal to learn, landed him as a speaker in Names Online 2021 as well. And tonight he is there with us as a guest speaker. So I welcome you to the session. Thank you, Divya, for the warm welcome. Thank you. It's my pleasure. Now we have together with us the co-founders of DN School, that is Hitesh Wadwa and Jay Podia. So welcome, uh, Hitesh sir and Jay sir, I welcome you to this webinar. Now, uh, mm -hmm. moving ahead with the session, I would now like to invite Hitesh sir to throw, uh, a, give us a picturization of the outbound sales in the domaining industry. Hitesh, over to you. Yeah, thank you, Divya. Hello, everyone. Once again, I welcome you to the show. <clears throat> See, we all buy no, we all know how to buy domains, okay? But the problem that comes is that how to sell the domains. There are two ways to sell domains. One is inbound, which means that you have to park your domains, you have to list your domains in some uh, aftermarket companies like Afternic, Cedo, uh, Dan, and the other process is through outbound. There you have to outreach a prospect via email, via phone, in person, or through any event, or through any other means through which you can basically contact the person, showcase your portfolio, showcase your domain, tell him about the uh, your features of, about the domain or attributes of, of the domain, and just pitch the domain to him. It's a simple language, like you don't have to give a, give a, uh, a big description and all, and just approach them. And uh, that's it. See, we all do businesses. <clears throat> and to get the new clients, we have to do this cold emailing. We have to send either through uh, manually or through automated, using through automated tools. Fine, it's a complete process. We try to target the prospect inbox. But if we fail, 
even if it if you fail to get the attention of eva uh, sorry i'm going wrong in this way actually uh, let me get back to this <clears throat> so today in this workshop through mr kahel and utsav we will discuss how we can start your domaining journey in the outbound and learn the best practices of email outreach through mr kahel he has done the marvelous job of automating a complete system like we heard from his one of his students so over to you utsav and to mr ayub uh thank you itesh so uh, first of all you know i would like to say it's my uh, honor that you know i have been a part of uh, urban school and dn school from last one year uh, like devya said you know i started my journey with them i learned uh, you know uh, from hitesh sir jay sir and uh, vinesh bhaskarala so i learned a lot from them and i have been doing decent you know while doing outbound and selling domains and i'm glad to be uh, a part of the seminar again and especially now we have ayub kahel as well you know i think it's uh, i i won't be wrong if i say him you know he's the king of uh, domain outbound you know in in morocco he's been doing really great and he has a lot of students as well you know whom to he's teaching and being doing a great job for his community so i met him on clubhouse and you know i was really amazed you know uh, by his sales and you know the way he was uh, telling about of the tools which even i didn't heard about you know previously so that's the reason i asked him you know if he can be a part of this seminar and can teach us about you know uh, what knowledge he has and if he would like to share so uh, thank you so much ayub you know for accepting our proposal and you know being here with us so it's over to you ayub uh, we would like to learn from you today thank yeah, you yeah thank you so much but before and, uh, uh, sorry to interrupt mm-hmm. but before mm-hmm. you start ayub i would like you to introduce yourself and also describe your domaining journey in brief Okay, no problem. So I'm uh, Ayub Kiel. I'm uh, 29 years old. I'm from Morocco. Uh, I'm I have been now five years in experience uh, in domain name industry, and uh, three years in doing outbound. This year is my first year as a full-time domain investor. So I work only now on the domain name. I don't work any place else. So um, I'm teaching the domain in for arab uh, people in arabic because i saw that uh, the domain is not that famous in the arab countries so i take the initiative to uh, teach that for arab people and uh, now a lot of my students making great sales doing outbound marketing and i hope that i give uh, some good value to you also to improve also your uh, outbound strategies and uh, so on and okay and again sorry for my english because english is not my my native language so i'm trying my best to explain you're doing everything. good you it's your english is good are you trust me on that thank you thank you so much okay thank you so i think are you we can start with the presentation miran you can tell us uh, how we can pick up gems from expired domains because okay. i can see a lot of people in the audience as well asking about that that you know from where we can pick some domains at a cheaper price and then you can continue you know what kind of factors do you consider you know while picking a domain and then uh, which niche you know uh, you think you know it's good you know to start with and then how you find out end users how you send email so one by one we can go to that process so if we can you know just share the initial part that how you search for the gems from the expired domain especially thank you okay uh, shall shall i share my screen now yeah yeah go ahead go ahead Okay. Can you can you see it? Yes, I we can. Uh yes, we can see it. Okay, thank you so much and uh, welcome to everyone again. Uh, today we will learn about the outbound marketing for geo domains. As you know, there there are there is lots of uh, different types of domain names. There is brand able domains, there is exact match keyword domains uh, alphanumeric domains and uh, lots of lots of uh, domains but today we will talk about how to sell geo domain because geo domains are the easiest way to sell domain names okay so as i said the uh, last few minutes who i am i'm mr kihal or uh, ayub kihal i'm 29 uh, years old from morocco and uh, Five years in experience in the domain name, and also teaching the domain name for Arab countries in Arabic. 
Okay, what are the geo domains? For example, uh, when we, when you uh, pick a domain which contains a city name plus a niche plus a local business plus a job or stuff like this, this is simply the geo domain. For example, MiamiLawyers.com, Chicago Carpet Cleaner.com, which is a CC plus a local service. For example, New York Music School, which is a CC plus a music institution. And also Texas Flowers, which is simply a CC plus a local business. Okay, those are some uh, types, uh, some examples of Geodon. Now let's see why people should buy Geodon. Now we are talking about end users, not about us as a seller. Simply, when, uh, when, when someone, for example, owning um, Chicago, Chicago Dentist.ca or Chicago Dentist.org or .net, this person has to upgrade his domain name from .net, .org, .us, or any other extension to .com. As you know, the .com is the king. Second thing that people must buy the domain name, uh, geo domain, simply to upgrade his domain name from three words, four words to two words. For example, someone owning besttexaslawyers.com, he must own texaslawyers.com, which is uh, easy to spell and short. As you know, the short domain is the better to have and uh, it has value more than long domain, okay? Also, when people buy a domain name, he can simply redirect all the traffic coming from this domain name directly to the, his main website. What I mean by this, for example, if you sell uh, texaslawyer.com, you can um, neither check the domain name and build the website on it, or if someone already have a website, he can simply keep the same website and redirect the traffic coming from a Texas lawyer to the main website that he owns. And also, uh, there is a lot of local businesses paying ads on Google, doing um, Google ads, uh, CPC, uh, PPC. When, when you own, for example, when a buyer owns a domain name, which is a geo domain, he will cut down the marketing expenses because the traffic coming from this domain name, which is a geo domain, is a free traffic. So it means that he will uh, get free traffic and also he will not pay a lot of ads uh, doing uh, paying ads. This is why uh, the, the buying a geo domain is a great way to cut down the, max, the, the marketing expense. And finally, having a geo domain is a great way for geo exposure because there is a lot of businesses online in many other, in many cities that have the same, uh, their own name, but owning also a geo domain is a great way to uh, have a good branding to uh, give the person the ability to remember this, this business. This is why a lot of local businesses buy geo domain. So after seeing why should people buy the geo domain, now we will see how to find geo domain. To find geo domains, there is a lot of methods. Today, I will talk about three methods. The first one, which is expireddomains.net. This website, I will explain it later in this session in the practi practical uh, uh, tutorial. And also, you can find a niche and then generate a domain name, which also I will explain it later in this session. And also, the final uh, and the third way is buying a geo domain from another administrator. For example, you uh, buy a domain, for example, from uh, Ustav, it's, it's a geo domain, and you will uh, sell it to the end user. This is how you can find geo domains, and I will teach that, and I will share with you the practical things, because now it will not be clear. As I said, I will explain it later, so uh, see with me. Now, let's see the criteria to respect, uh, because buying a geo domain doesn't mean you will sell it to everyone. You, you must have a domain name that have value. If the domain doesn't have value, no one will buy it. It's simple. The first thing is the buyer or the domain name must have a good appraisal, no less than 700. 
Why 700 and not, for example, 300? It's simple because when you are you start the negotiation process with the buyer, you will send them the screenshot of GoDaddy appraisal. When you will send them a, a, a appraisal of GoDaddy, and the, the person, for example, ask you to pay, for example, just 100, you will say to him, for example, that the, the domain have a value, a retail value of 700, and the, here is some uh, similar sales. And finally, you can sell the domain name for 400, 300, and it's better than having a domain name with appraisal for just 300, which will end you simply sell it for just 50 or 100. This is why the more for the going good at the appraisal, the more is the better 700, 800, 900, 1000, and more. Okay. The second criteria is the domain name must have a search volume more than 100. It's if it was 100, it's good. If it was 1,000, it's very good. It's, if it was 10,000, it's perfect. This is why you must also have this criteria uh, in mind. This also is very good criteria. The third criteria that you must respect is a CPC of $1. Because when people pay in $1 per click, it means that this keyword has value. It's better than paying 0011 cents. Okay, this means that you have a value in this keyword. And don't worry, I will share everything in the practical section. The fourth criteria is paid ads on Google. You will take the keyword on the domain name, you will go to Google and put it and say, uh, see if there is some paid ads. If there is some, some paid ads, this means that first, the keyword that you own have value. And also it means that the potential buyers are there. You will contact also these people and send the, for the domain name for them. Okay, the, five, the fifth uh, criteria is you must uh, find some existing potential end users. You will also uh, tick the keyword on the domain name. You will put it on Google and see if there is some buyer. You will see ads also. You will see Google Maps and stuff like this. If you find that there is enough uh, potential buyer, it means that this domain name have some value and have the central uh, have the ability to be sold very fast. It's better than having nothing. Okay. Another criteria which which you have to respect is similar sales. You will. For example, take the keywords on the domain name. You will go to name bio and put the keywords there and check if there is some sales or not. And I will explain everything. Just stay with me. Another criteria that you also need to respect, which is very good. It's not obligatory in uh, for me. It's not a big obligatory, but you have to respect this. Is the domain name must be registered in many other ex uh, extensions. For example, you own uh, MiamiLawyers.com, it must be uh, registered in .NET, .org, and stuff like this. And if the domain name was uh, developed, it's perfect. For example, if you find, if you own, for example, Miami Lawyers, and you find that the domain name is already uh, registered in .NET, and you find also that the, this domain, which, which is .NET, is already developed, it's perfect. It means also that you will contact this person and send the domain name for him, which, be, which will be an upgrade for him. Okay. After seeing the criteria, now let's see how to find buyers, which is the, uh, the part who takes lots of time. Okay. How to find buyers? There is many, many tools. The first one is using Google. When you see Google, you will see check the advertisement on Google. You will check the, the Google Maps also. You will check the Google My Business. There is a lot of buyers there. The second place is Facebook. As you know, we live in a digital world. And this digital world means that a lot of businesses create their own Facebook pages. In this Facebook page, they put their email, they put their website, 
This means that a lot of buyers are there. You just need to look there and search for the buyer. The third uh, place to find buyers is LinkedIn. As you know also, LinkedIn is a social professional place which a lot of companies has uh, make some offers there to uh, find some uh, employees and also share their, their news. You can find a lot of buyers here on LinkedIn. And another place to find buyers, which is a place which we call it local silver places, such as Yelp, Manta, Yellow Pages, BBB.org, Wait Pages, Crunchbase, and a lot and lots of places to find buyers. Okay. Now, after seeing how to find a buyer, which I will explain uh, later in this section, now let's see how to find buyers, but find the email of those buyers. To find emails of those buyers, first, there is the, the first one that you go to the main website and you will find the email, which is info domain name or contact us dot the domain name which is a generic domain name it's better to find the ceo of this website or the ceo of this company this will give you the opportunity to sell the domain faster than sell it for a generic domain but there is some tool that helps you to find buyer the first one is snow.io the second one is hunter.io not.com sorry the third is salesql which is my favorite it finds a good and very good emails even the personal emails it find it this this tool there is also kendo.com and also adapt.com which i uh, learned about it recently from another um, investor in global and another one which is find that lead it's also a great tool you can download all the chrome extension or uh, the age extension and install it and do the search there is also lucia uh, which is also very good and the best one is rocket reach but it's not recommended for beginner because it's a bit expensive okay now after seeing the email finders let's see now how to contact buyers to contact buyers we need simply to do uh, outreach using cold email and to send emails you will send it manually for example you take copy pass you prepare the email copy pass and send the, the emails manually or you will use an automated system which uh, which will which will be a tool like for example snow.io which i use personally hunter.io not.com which i already use many times there is also mix max that you can also use it personally i i never use it in the past but there is a lot of domain investors and outbound uh, person that may that use mixmax okay after seeing how to contact buyer now let's see email tracker because when you will send for example emails you need to track this emails and see if this person read emails or not if the person <coughs> sorry if the person didn't read the email you need to contact him again using another subject line if the person read the email you may you must send follow up for him so there is a lot of email trackers for example there is mail track which i use personally there is snow.io there is mixmax there is mail tag and a lot of more uh, email tracks now let's see how to write email Writing emails is very important. As you can see, the number one is the subject line. As you can see, hey, Jennifer, for example, this is a real set that I will share with you uh, in, the, in the last of this session. Hey, Jennifer is the subject line. You always need to contact the person with the, the, his, his name, 
always personalize your email. If you didn't find the, the first name of the person, you simply write the domain name. If, for example, still in uh, chicagolawyers.com, you will put on the subject line Chicago Lawyer. Number two, the image. As you can see, I'm putting my image. You must put your image. This creates a trust between you and the buyer. Always put your picture and don't put, for example, any kind of different pictures and stuff like this. Always put your picture. Number three, as you can see, I put the first name and last name. Ayub Kihel is my first name, last name. Always put your first name, last name. This also creates a trust and creates some professional feeling between you and the buyer. Also, the email, as you can see, Mr. Kiel Ayub. Dot com, uh, dot gmail dot com. I don't put, for example, Ayub123 or Ayub567. I put Mr. First name, last name, which also uh, give a trust between you, between you and the buyer. Now, number four is the calling, the personalizing and calling. Hi, Jennifer. You put hi and you put this, the name, which means that you are not spying people you are uh, talking uh, with this person and you know exactly who, uh, you know exactly who is this person hi jennifer it's a very uh, good way to contact people always use it always personalize your email if you didn't find the first name no problem just write hi and send your email the, the five the number five is the email body. As you can see, you uh, say to him that you own this, for example, you own the domain name, and you want to sell it. And you say that this is an exact match. And if you have any question or offer, just let me know. To be honest, this email template is not it's not mine. It's the template of Yogi Solank, but it's best, better and perfect uh, rather, uh, comparing to my own email. Okay. Number six is the uh, email signature. Email signature, all, I always put warm regard. I put my name and put my LinkedIn profile. For you, you can put also your phone number. It's better to be an American phone number. And also you can put some, uh, uh, any other information that helps you to build a trust between, between you and the buyer. And number seven, it's simply the email tracker, which is mail track. It means that this person has already uh, read my email, which is better to, to do. Always track and see if the person reads your email or not. Okay. Uh, now, after uh, seeing how to uh, send email, this is the first email. If the person read the email, it's better to contact him again. If he didn't read the email, Simply, you will uh, contact him again, but using another term and another subject line. If, for example, you send a hey, Jennifer and she doesn't reply, you will, you will simply write, Jennifer, this is for you as a subject line, and send, send the same email uh, as you can see now. Okay? Now, if the person reads the email, it is better to send him an, another follow-up. Because the real money is on the follow-up. The follow-up is the key to, to be successful on the domain name industry and in, especially in outbound marketing. Let's talk about follow-up. After sending the email, for example, today, after three days, you will send another follow-up, which is the first follow-up. If the person reads the email, you will send them another follow-up. If the person again reads the email, you will send them another follow-up. Always, I always get a reply in the third or the or the ten, or the, the, the second follow up. If the person doesn't read the uh, read the email and he never reply, you will send another follow up, which will be uh, a last word. You will give some value. You will put your asking price and uh, say to him, for example, if you are interested, please let me know. Okay. Now. To sell the domain name, let's say, for example, that you agreed with the buyer and you want to uh, close the deal. There is a lot of places to close the deal. As you know, if you put the domain name on a marketplace, they will uh, 
the buyer can go and buy the domain name, which will give you the money and also the company will get some commission. But for us, as a person doing outbound, the commission play a lot of, of, of important things. Why? Because we are selling the domain name, for example, for 300, 400, it's better to get a, a cheaper commission. For example, and for me, there is a lot of places. The better and the best for, for me is does.com, which take only 5% if you send them a lead, which is the secure transaction. Or if the person go directly to does.com and uh, buy the domain name, it's, uh, it will cut only 7%, which is the cheapest place in the, in the universe. The second one is dan.com, which cost, uh, which takes only uh, 5% if you bring a lead for him, or 9% if he go directly and buy the domain name. And also there is the biggest one, which is GoDaddy. A lot of buyers prefer to close the deal on GoDaddy. Why? Because they trust GoDaddy. Always uh, let GoDaddy at the end, never talk about it until the buyer asks you to close the deal on GoDaddy because it takes 20% as, uh, as a fee, okay? Now let's see some real sales that I already made. Here is another sale that I already made. Uh, in the email that we, we, we saw a few minutes ago, which is Roseville divorce lawyer, hey Jennifer. Here is a sale uh, from uh, GoDaddy because the buyer asks me to um, to close the deal on GoDaddy. As you can see, Roseville divorce lawyer sold for three ninety nine in this state. You can also be uh, and uh, and uh, do more than this. You can sell a lot of names without any problem. Here is also another sale which is Toronto piano lessons. Dot com, which is sold for uh, $4.99, which is also a great sale that I already made. You can also do this without any problem. Just you need to learn and practice and never stop and believe in yourself. Okay. Now, after seeing the, uh, the theoretic thing, now let's see the practical. Okay. I will let you now with he teach. After that, I will start the practical thing and you will see everything that I already do every day to find some good names and contact buyers. Now it's yours, Hitich. Thank you. Hitich, are you there? You can go ahead and post up, no problem. Hitich, sir? Yeah, so, so you can take over. So do you want me to explain about expired domains.net, are you? Okay, no problem. I will continue. I will continue. No problem. Okay. Okay, now... Uh, so, to close this. One minute, please. Okay, to find some good buyers or find some good domains, there is two ways. The first one, we will use expired domains. There is an, a method that I already used many times and I explained that to my audience. The first thing that you will need, for example, you go to expired domains, you choose, for example, deleted.com, uh, are you shop. sorry to interrupt you, but uh, we can't see, uh, you know, the expired domains net stream. So if we can just, uh, you know, make it visible for the audience so that can they can see a live demo. You can see it now. I'm, uh... We can only see the, the PPT, uh, not. Ah, okay. Not, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Now, I think. Uh, no. Wait one minute, please.
Yes, we can see it now, Ayub. Thank you. Okay. Now it's good. Thank you so much. Okay. As you can see, we will go to expireddomains.net. We will start from the start. You will go to uh, deleted.com. You will choose this one, deleted.com, all the, all the domains. You will go to show filters. You choose no adult name, only characters, only English. You you've, uh, choose 20 uh, results. And now you will choose a city. You will go to Google. You write, for example, list of all US cities. And you will find lots of cities. For example, you will find this, this link from Wikipedia. You will go down and choose, for example, any uh, city that you want. Let's say, for example, that you are looking for text. You will go to start with, I always put the city at the start. I already tried to sell some domains with city at the end, but it doesn't work for me. It's my own experience. If you want to try, no problem. But for me, I always choose the city at the start. And then you will click on apply filters. After clicking on apply filters, you will click here on reg. Why? Because when you will click on reg, simply this tool, which is expireddomains.net, will uh, make up the, the domains that are registered in many ETL. As you can see, this domain is registered in three TLDs, this one in two, and stuff like this. Now let's find some good, uh, some good domain. For example, uh, Texas Finance Company. It could be good, this domain. You will take this domain name, you will go to expireddomains.net or uh, so, sorry, or uh, the Goodery appraisal tool. You will put the domain name first to see the appraisal and also to see if the domain name is available or not. As you can see, the domain is registered. Someone has already buy the domain name. Let's find another one. So you will uh, search using the same way. For example, Texas accounting firms, Texas teachers rock. Yeah. You, you, will, you will find some good domains, which is suitable to, to be uh, as a part of the business. If you, did, you didn't find any domain name, no problem. You will check the other pages and also you will choose another city. Let's see, let's uh, think that you didn't find any any domain name, you will change, for example, the CC. Let's see, for example, that you will put Fresno or Tushin. You will take it, you will go and do the same way. Go to show filters, put it here, start with, and apply filter. And again, you will uh, check for any kind of domain name. I can I see personal injury lawyers, uh, are you? There's no personal injury lawyers, that's a good domain. Okay, uh, one thing that I forget to mention is you, you must choose this, this one, only available domains. Okay. Yeah, I, I think, think it's gone. It was yeah, registered, right? It was registered, yes. Always it was a good choose, name. Yeah, yeah. always when, when you're searching about the domain name, always choose a domain which is uh, no, not, not more than three words. Because four, four words is, is, is uh, hard to, to say. As you know, the, the domain, when it's, it is short, it is better. Okay? No problem. You will uh, go and uh, search for another one. For example, if you didn't find, no problem. This, this thing takes a lot of, uh, lot of, uh, of time. For example, right, this, can, right. this can, can be good. Veterinary hospital. Let's check it. If we didn't find this, we will uh, see the, another one, which is my favorite, my own way to find domain name. This one is available. As you can see, first no veterinary hospital. Now, if uh, you will buy this, do this domain name, not yet. We will go to Google Keyword Planner or any other tool that gives you the search, the search result. 
you can use ever success you can use some uh, simraj you can use uh, a lot of another uh, tool but for me i'm using google keyword planner you will go and put the keyword on this domain name you will uh, make a space between each word and because of this domain name is on uh, fresno in united states we will change the country and put united states and then we will click on save to see how much uh, search volume on this keyword from 10 to 100 it's not good so no problem we will change the city and continue okay now after understanding this method let's see the Dr. second Dr. method Dr. sorry to interrupt uh, you there is a domain called fresno auto accident autonomy and i think so it would be having i is having approximately 30 search volume at a cpc of 467 i think yes yeah so it's trying to go for that name which one it's uh, auto there's no accident auto accident attorney if you see uh, uh, just just be, yeah, yeah. Three, three, three columns above your arrow yeah go yeah, above this, yeah, this one this, yeah this one this one yes yes it's a, it's a cpc yeah, it of 467 dollars it might be good yes it might be good yeah. but but for me it's 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 uh it have four words so uh in uh, for me i i uh, i i don't work on domains like this but uh, for you you can you can work for it no problem if no, it's for it's me for me i have sold a domain called new york sex crime lawyer also that's a five word domain so for it, it depends upon the person to person like it also depends upon your luck like you are able to sell it or not Okay, no problem. This is a good domain. This is a very good domain because it's it's having a very good CPC. Very good CPC. Okay, no problem. Right. I think uh, are you uh, like Umir also said and Hitesh also said sometimes for Lonish four words work like you know uh, like for city name with personal injury lawyer or maybe like city name with car accident lawyer dot com. So these things works with special knowledge. Okay, no problem. Okay, you can work on this domain name. Now let's see the the second method, which is my my own my own method, which is using Yelp.com. For example, here you can find or you can write any kind of city. Let's say, for example, that you will put Texas. Here, you you will uh, write anything that you want. For example, plumbers or stuff like this. For example, you will go down and you will find a lot of niches here. Let's say, for example, that you will click on home service. You click on home service and you will find a lot of niches. As you can see here, plan bin, it's a niche. You will open it on a new tab. You will go down and see, for example, a painter. You will open it also on a new tab electricians you will also put it on a new tab and after that you will go to the tab for example for plumbers you will go down and you will find some sub niches for example plumber heating and air air conditioner there is a lot of niches there also you can do the same you will go to the sub niches and in the sub niches you will also go to another sub niche Okay, again, you will find, for example, uh, water heater. There is a lot, for example, battery store, solar installation, which is a very good niche. Let's see, for example, that you go to electrician, you will find some niches. You will go down and you will find another solar niches, uh, also solar, solar installation. Anyway. Let's see, for example, that you want to work on solar installation. It's a very good niche. We will find uh, the page open. Okay, you will take this keyword. You will go to this website, which is generatedomainname.com, which we, which uh, someone from you guys shared it with me. I did. Uh, it's it. it's it's made by Hitesh. 
Yeah, it's a perfect tool. I really like it. In the past, I, uh, I used uh, uh, Excel or Google Sheets. I do it manually, but this tool is perfect. Let's say, for example, all your LCCs. So I Sorry to, sorry to interrupt. Today I added more uh, things also, two, two more features, like recent searches and all. So you will come to know that what people are searching and all uh, from that. If you call this little down, nice. then you will see that. And by the end of next week, CPC and volume will be introduced to it. So it will be a great yeah, great tool for geo domain. Exactly. Yeah, that's great too. Yeah. Thank you so much. So because we are searching the cities and the city must be at the at the start we will click and choose at the end the niche will become at the end and here we will choose dot com and then click on generate we will wait a bit to find if there is some uh, niches or some domains now there is a lot of uh, domains that are available we will need to check if there is some big cities because sometimes the small cities uh, doesn't have good search volume and search results this is why we need to check for the big cities first and then check the second cities for example here the chicago is not available so we will take for example any domain just to continue the search. Let's, for example, work on the this one. We'll go to check if it is available, and I think it's available. Yes, it's available. We will take uh, this domain name to check if the appraisal of this domain. Again, we will put it here. It's uh, just three. Uh, it's not good, but no problem. We will continue searching using this. This we will take this one as the it is search. Say about it. We'll put it here. As you can see, it respect this. You will go to this place also to check the search volume. You always need to do that when searching a, a domain name. Always, you have, you have to do that because hunting a domain name takes some time, but it gives a good value. Uh, this domain even it has uh, less than 1k, but no problem. You will go to Google and put it like this. And hit enter. Always, when you hit enter, go to settings, search settings, and go down and choose, for example, here Canada, you would choose United States because the domain is based on the United States. If the domain was uh, targeting Canada, you will choose Canada. If it is targeting uh, Sydney or uh, Australia, you will put Australia. And then you hit save. As you can see, here is the paid ads. As you can see, the paid ads. And here is the Google Maps. There is a lot of buyers that you can uh, you can contact. Three pages. It's very good. Yes, it's very good. Also, this person are also, uh, also attorneys. You can also contact them. And I will teach you how uh, after a few minutes. Now it respects this criteria. Now let's check if this domain name have uh, some uh, similar sense in the past or not. We will take the city name. We will put it here. Press no. You will go and uh, choose at the start because the city is at the start. We choose dot com, no hyphen, no number, and hit enter or search as you can see there is a lot of sales here yes i think there is a lot of sales which means this domain name respects also the creation now let's take 
the second one or, or the second image. We'll put it here without any space. And then choose anywhere and it ends. There is a cell which is uh, not recent, but it also means that domain name has some value. After that, you will go and take the same domain, go to the, dom to the website .db, and then put it and hit search and check. There is no results, but no problem. Let's see that, for example, we want, we want to work on this domain. After finding the domain name, you will go, for example, to Google Sheets, why Google Sheets? Simply to uh, simply to collect some leads. For example, here here is a lead that I collect for for this domain name, which which is edmontonbets.com. As you can see, I collect a lot of leads. But let's think that we will work on this domain name, which is Fresno. Uh, auto accidents at all me. For example, we will, you will put the first name. Here you will put the last name. And here you will put the Emma. I'm trying all, all, always to explain everything step by step just to understand the process. So, because we didn't have any person having the .com or the .net, the .org or stuff like this. So we will not work on this. We will go to Google. First thing we will search like this. You will search, for example, for this. Uh, we start with this person at the first. For example, you will go and look for the, the website of this person. And then you will pick the Emma. Okay. As you can see here, here is the website. This person are, is using accident lawyer Fresno. Okay. Now to find the email, there is a lot of tools. First of all, you will click on LinkedIn. Always look for LinkedIn page. I think this uh, is not working. No problem. We will go again because I had a voice in this uh, in this website. This is why I closed it. So we will go again to uh, this website. I will mute this tab. So we didn't find the LinkedIn profile. So we go to contact us to, to see if you can find the email of this person, uh, this person, not the generic email. We'll go, for example, Sam. Perhaps that this person is called, not, yes, sell Sam. And it, this, this person or this email is the real email of this person, which is Sam. Let's go and click on now.io. It doesn't show us anything. But this email is working. So we will take this email, go to our, our uh, spreadsheet, and put it here. And the name is Sam. And also put the name of this person. OK? This is the first way. You will go and check these profiles one by one. After that, you will contact this person also from uh, the per per person being asked, and then check the Google Maps and contact them one by one. And after that, go and go deep in this criteria and these places and finish all the page. After that, you will take this keyword 
come back to Google and put in URL like this in URL and put the keyword on the domain name and see if there is some result or not. There is only one result for this person, which is, I think, the oldest website that it has been here. No problem. There is only one, uh, one result. After finishing the results that you have here, you will go again to Google and put all in title like this and put all in title and put the keyword like this. And again, contact this person one by one and take the email. Okay, after finishing from Google, you will go to Facebook. Go to Facebook like this. I hope that you understand. You will put, for example, like this. You will not write Fresno because we will do another filter. You will search on it like this. Go to pages. And here in the location, you will put Fresno like this. It is only one result, which is good also. You will contact this person. After finishing from Facebook, you will go to LinkedIn. In LinkedIn, you will do also the same. Go to the search, put auto accident attorney. Here, because we are searching about attorneys, we will write, for example, people. And here in the filters, you will put see you like this. And show filters. If it is not concerned by uh, lawyers, if, for example, it was a company, you will not choose people, but you will choose company. You will not choose people, you will choose company and then contact the CEO of this company. Okay, you will do, for example, here in Fresno, as you can see. I hope you understand. As you can see, there is also some results. After that, you will go to Yelp.com. The same website that we have used to find some names. We will click here and click Fresno because we are targeting Fresno. Here you will find you will put auto accident lawyer or auto accident attorney. And after that you will search, but you will contact only targeted person, not everyone. There is also just two pages here. After finishing from Yelp, you will also use manta.com. Also, this website is very good for, uh, for finding some good links. You will also use weight pages. It's also very good to find some names. You will also use it using the same way. And also, you can use bbb.org. Sometimes this works, this website is will not work in. Don't. You will uh, use a VPN. And I think that it will might. I uh, always make uh, this thing. I choose a VPN of United Kingdom, uh, USA, and big, uh, big city or big uh, countries. And the website works with you without any problem. So we will refresh the page. And as you can see, the website is working. It works on Canada, on uh, USA, and I think also in Mexico. Okay. Now, after 
collecting the emails, let's think or let's see that you find all these emails. Now, uh, the first thing that you will know, uh, we need to do is go in to the Gmail account and send in emails one by one. You take this email, go to Gmail and send, hi, I own the domain name and stuff like this. Or you can use an automated system. To use an automated system, there is a lot of things. For me, I'm using snob.io. Let's go to snob.io. Uh, for me, I'm using the paid version. You will go to email drip campaign, but for, first you will need to create a list you, you go here and click a and uh, create a list. After creating a list, let's think that we'll get, for example, test like this. Here is a list that is it is test. You will go and import the, the list. Let's think that you just collect uh, one, 100. You will upload it here on snow.io and go and start the drip comp. When you will start the drip campaign, you will do it like, for example, here, let's, let's see, for example, a, a domain that I already, for example, this domain which is sold. Here you can see how many replies, here you can see how many emails were sent, here you can see how many times it was open, and here the overview of the drip campaign. Here, the list of the domain, for example, here you can send it to your list that you talk about, it, which is, for example, test. Here it is the first email, and here the trigger. The trigger is simply telling to the software if the person read the email, we send him these things, we send him the follow up. If the person doesn't read the email, you will send him another email with another subject. As you can see here, here is the subject line, and here it's the same subject, but here the subject line is different. Okay, so this person, after sending the email, you will also see if the person read or not. You will send them another uh, another follow up. If the person again read the email, you will send them another follow up, and also if the person another. Uh, another time read the email, you will send them the last email because if the person reply. If the person reply, the drip campaign will stop. It will not send them another follow. -up. But if the person didn't uh, reply to the email, this person will receive the email uh, follow. -up. For example, his, this person didn't read the email, we send him another uh, Another email, which is the same email, just like this. For example, this email is the same email here, as you can see, but it's used another subject. Again, if this person read the email, he will receive a follow up. If this person again read the email, he will receive a follow up. And again, if this person re uh, read the email, he will receive another follow up, and so on until arriving to the last email, which is this one, you will give him the some sales, similar sales and give him the, the final uh, price that you will share. Okay. Are you sorry to interrupt, uh, but can you tell us how we can set up this automatic system and how much does it cost? Okay. Uh, this tool gives you uh, 100 recipients for free. And after that, they will ask you to pay uh, $39 per, per month. To set up this dream campaign, you will go, for example, to drip campaign like this, create, for example, a drip campaign. There is a tutorial from the company itself teaching about this, but no problem. For example, here, you, uh, they ask you to put a list. Let's see, for example, that you will choose test like this. Here is the trigger. The first email to this list is like here you can you can put the first email. 
just like this. You will put, for example, we start as a subject line, and here, hi, we start. I own the domain name, and so on. Okay. After that, you will put a trigger. A trigger, which means you will ask this person if he read the email or not. If this person read the email, he will receive another email again. Just, just like this. If we if we put a subject line, which is for example, we start, this person will receive another email using another subject line. But if we didn't put anything here, simply they will send them an email using the, the same subject line. Another thing, for example, here, you can also uh, personalize, for example, here, first name, always delete this one, always. First name, if we, if we add, if we add the lead directly from uh, the Excel spreadsheet and this, this uh, result, for example, have the first name, for example, it's James, Darren, Gistina, and stuff like this. Simply, the tool will put the same name here. If we didn't provide the first name, they will uh, only write this stuff without writing anything. Okay, now if the person read the email, we will send them, for example, the second one. We don't we don't put anything here. Uh, for example, here, did you read my email? If the person again uh, read the email, we'll put another trigger in and ask the software if this person read the email, we should receive another. Uh, sorry, we should receive another email just like this. If this person read the email, we can receive another another email. Uh, this person will receive another email. For example, hey, how are you? So basically, are you uh, trigger means you know it will tell you snob that I will tell you that how many people have read this email, right? The trigger will will uh, say to the uh, to snob those I O mm -hmm. if the person uh, read the email of it. Okay, so once it so shows that you know like out of three hundred people, like uh, fifty people have read the email, then you have a automatic system wherein uh, after two or three days it will send them an email directly without you doing anything. Is that correct? Yes, exactly. And also you can program it. For example, here we will choose. For example, here. Uh, this person contact open an email, and there you can choose, for example, days, for example, a three days, or okay. also two days. And you will okay. keep it like after two days, after this person or anyone read this email, after two okay. days, he will, he will receive the second email. And, and again, one more question. So when you are sending an email again, is it going as a new email or as the same email chain? No, for example, if you didn't change the subject line in, in, here in the, in the second email, mm -hmm. this person will receive uh, email as a reply. As a new email? No, uh, not as a new email. I will okay. give you an it will be in the same email. trail, same email trail, right? I mean, same example, email chain. For example, here is a real example. I okay. send them this email, as you can see. Here is the first email. And right. here is the second email. This person has read this email. Mm -hmm. And here is the second email as a reply, not as a, uh, another email. When right. this person receives another email, when, for example, here, I put this, this trigger, if this person didn't read the email, we put just like this. If this person didn't read this email, and I put another subject line here, for example, you start PPP uh, stuff like this. This person, which is, uh, for example, in this email, when I will send him, this person will receive another email, uh, a new email, not as a reply, because we change the subject line. Got it? Right, right. So whenever we are changing subject line, it would go as a new email, not yes. as a. a like it's the same email chain right yes exactly when you change the subject the subject line it will go as a new email not as a replay 
Okay, here you set up the uh, trigger. After set up in the trigger and the trip campaign here, you will find, uh, for example, you will uh, put the, the name of the, the name of the campaign. Here you will choose the email. For example, I'm using this email. Here you can, uh, for example, this person has lots of emails. You can choose, you can choose and ask the software to send the email for all emails or just for the first email. If for, if for example, this person with his Mitch have many emails, if we, if we choose, for example, first email, he will only send the email for this first email, which is made midge.lender.gmail.com uh, or dot website. And if you, if you choose all emails, he will send it to all emails. Here, this tool also can do uh, email verifier. You can uh, upload the list and verify if the email is working or not. And here also, you can choose the, uh, enable this, these things because sending uh, send their emails to some unverified email or unverifiable uh, email means that the email will not be sent and uh, it, it gives a, uh, a bad repetition to your email to the Gmail. Here you can enable the link tracking, enable the open tracking, enable check the missing va uh, variable and stop after a reply. If, for example, I send an email to Istab and Istab reply, I'm not interested or how much on stuff like this, the tool will not send you another follow-up because you are uh, you reply. Okay? And uh, also another thing here in the schedule, you can choose, for example, for me in Canada, I choose this, 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 uh, this time. Here, you can also choose the, choose the time, for example, in uh, 5 p.m. or 6 p.m. or any uh, schedule time that you want. Here you can uh, choose the days, choose the time, choose everything that you want. And after that, click on save, apply, and then you will launch and save the, the and start the drip pump. After launching the drip campaign, now we will need just to focus on finding this. If you find, for example, 100 and you go the another, uh, another day and find another 100 or 200, you will just go again to the same tool and go to prospect because you, you have, for example, here, let's see, for example, here, I have only uh, 87 and I collect 100 more. I go here and I put, for example, uh, here, I choose the file. And after choosing the file, I will check. Let's do this again, no problem. You will go, for example, here and import the lead. The lead, for example, I have it in this folder, which is lead, and upload file. For example, here, you will always skip duplicated because we don't, we don't want duplicated email here because we have only the first name we will put the first name and start an import as you can see email processes email added because i because i added just uh, uh, 30 uh, 32 uh, new emails this email has been skipped and this emails have been some error as you can see here email invalid you can delete right. this. You can delete this email, just like this. Here we are not sure if these emails are working or not, so it will uh, send them emails. But if you receive that the email is not working, that's okay, no problem. And here it is good to also to contact this this person. As you can see, if this this uh, drip campaign is already started, this means these people that I, I just asked, automatically the system will send them email without I ask them to send them email, which is very good to uh, help you on your uh, on your job. For example, if someone 
have a job and want also to work on right. domain as outbound, he can do the same way. Okay. So, Ayub, how many emails can we send through this campaign uh, on daily basis? What's the limit? Okay. You will go, for example, to accounts just like this. Email account. For example, I will show you my setup. For an, uh, a new email, I don't recommend uh, putting a lot of email. For example, me, I'm making 300, but I don't send 300 per day. Uh, sometimes I send less than Do you that. mean 300 for a single name or 300 total emails? No, uh, 300, you can, you, your maximum, your maximum sending is 300 emails per day. I can okay. send it to I can send it to 300 person. Okay, so let's suppose if I have uh, like four domains, I can sell, uh, I can send 100 uh, emails for each domain. Sorry, three, th if I have three uh, domains, I can send uh, 300 emails, like 100 each, right, for every domain. Yes, but I don't recommend that at the start because the email repetition is not good. So I, I recommend uh, sending just 50 per, per, uh, per domain or 20 per domain. Okay, so and to, what do you, to do not get banned? Okay, and what do you think about changing the the content? Uh, uh you know, which is in the email or the uh, subject line? Because I have seen, you know, if you are using the same uh subject line or content, you know, mostly it goes to spam. So I have been recommended by a lot of people to change the content after sending every three or four emails, and also there should be a gap of maybe you know some few seconds after you second send the second email. So how do you manage that on the automatic system? So do you have something fixed, like, you know, after 30 seconds or 60 seconds, it will send another email, something like that? Yes, uh, as you can see, delay, the delay, 60 seconds, for example. Oh, one nice, huh? that's nice, that's nice. But one minute between each email. Right, and what about the content and subject line? How do you change for every, like after three or four emails, if you have to? Uh, for the subject lines, I don't change just uh, I do just like I uh, show you here in the on the drip campaign. If the person read the email, he will receive another email with the, the same subject line. And if he doesn't read the email, he will receive another email with another subject. And I can also do another another uh, email using another subject line with no with no problem. But if I want to test some other subject lines, I can simply go, for example, here. Let's see, for example, that we want to, uh, sorry, for example, here and here. Oops. Let's see, for example, here, just like this. Why are email second, third, for example, this person, it don't want, but no problem. Well, uh, I think they, they delete this this, uh, this option. Anyway, you can send, for example, just like this, or you can put another trigger. I think they delete this option. Anyway, you can you can send send an email just like this and change the subject line using the symbol. If you want to uh, change the subject line, you can do it manually. Okay. You got it. You got it. And, so and I, you said, yeah, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Go, no, go ahead. And you said this whole process, uh, you know, is $39 every month, right? Yeah. $39 per month. Yes. Okay. You can also use, you can also use uh, Hansard.io. But Hansard.io uh, doesn't give you uh, options like this. If the person read the email, you can send them another follow up and stuff like that. For answer, just if the person didn't reply, he will receive another follow up, even if uh, he didn't read the email. Okay, they don't. Uh, okay. Hunter, the answer doesn't have the power, just like uh, not the side. Got it. Got it. And okay. so would you, would you recommend the newbies who are just about to start outbound, should they go ahead directly with the automatic system or they should do it manually first and then, you know, uh, 
once they have some success in that, then they should move to automatic. I personally started with uh, manual things. I made a lot of sales doing manual things. Mm -hmm. And recently, just three months, I started doing automated systems, which means all the time in the past, all the years in the past, I do it manually. So everyone is a newbie, starts with manual sending. This can, can be a, a bit, um, give you, makes you tired. It's right. true, but no problem. It's worth this, this effort. And believe me, when you will make your first sale, you will feel like a rock star. Absolutely. I, I, I still remember when I had my first sale, you know, I, I still do manually. So it excites me, you know, whenever I get how much response, you know, and though we are interested, you can relate yes. to that. Are you right? Yes. Yeah, it's yes. so exciting. Yeah. Yeah. Another thing, when someone asks you how much, always reply as fast as possible. Why? Because right. the person now he is interested after uh, one day or two days, maybe he will change his mind. Right. Right. So always, always reply as fast as possible this will uh, give you the opportunity to sell the domain very fast and uh, you can you, you always need to uh, take it as hot as possible don't right. give don't uh, let it get going uh, cold if this person go cold it uh, it means that this person you can lose it without any dollar or so. okay right. i hope you right. understand Yes, yes, definitely. Thank you so much, Ayub. Thank you. Uh, I have yep. a few questions, but before that, I think uh, uh, we have received a lot of questions from the audience as well. So, Divya, yep. would you like to, you know, take that? Maybe me, Hitesh, sir, and Ayub can, you know, answer that. And uh, after that, maybe I can ask my questions from Ayub. So, it's over to you, Divya. Thank you. Thank you, Ayub. No problem. Uh, I'll be taking the questions now. So, yes, we have first question from Uncle Singh. This is for you, sir. Utsav, you were doing live outbound on Clubhouse for one of your domains in Divorce Lawyer, lawyer Niche. Did you sell that domain or not? Uh, no, Uncle. Actually, I'm still in negotiation with one person. Uh, I have told him the price, but he hasn't responded yet. And I think tomorrow I'll be you know, sending him a follow-up. I hope you know I, I close this deal uh, within this next week and I'll keep you informed on that, Ayu, uh, Ankur. Thank you. Okay. Then we have next question. Would you please share the email traffic page again? This is for Ayu Balkan. Sorry, I didn't get the question. Uh, would you please share the email traffic page again? Someone's asking to, uh, Magyat is asking to share the email traffic page again. Email tracker, I think the, the, the one snob.io is using, right? Uh, for uh, manual sending, I use mail track. This one. This one. Okay. Track. Think for Zoho, you have to use Zoho email tracker. And for Hotmail, Gmail, you can use email tracker pro. Uh, yeah, email tracker pro. And for that, you have to use Zoho. But uh, if you're doing through snob, snob does it automatically. Right. Yes. Then we have a question from Srini. Don't you mention the domain name in subjects? Don't you? Somebody is asking while outbounding whether you mention yeah. the domain name in subjects. Okay, so exactly the, with the dot .com you mean to say, right, Srini? Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I don't prefer that. You know, I usually, let's suppose if I have a domain like uh, fresnodivorcelawyer.com, so I would either mention Fresno Lawyer or sometime Divorce Lawyer or maybe uh uh fresno lawyer or domain available so i'll keep on changing the subject line after three or four emails so that it doesn't uh, go into spam but i never use the full as in you know fresno divorce lawyer.com or something like that i have never uh, used that but i think hitesh sir has been doing that and he has been you know pretty successful with that as well but for me i have always you know uh practice you know changing uh, the the subject line either with divorce lawyer or fresno lawyer or maybe domain available and you know i'll keep on rotating the subject can every every three or four emails. Yes, I do use uh, exact domain name in the subject line. I also sometimes I use the keyword. Sometimes I use domain for you, for business for you, or something attractive which could basically uh, should act as a call to action to that person. That if he, 
the person should be the prospect should open the email that main target is to push the person prospect to open right. the email that's it it can be anything if you write anything it will work so it has to be just related to the content of your uh, message yes another and also uh, uh, yeah go ahead, go ahead yes another thing when for example changing subject line you can also put for example if we are selling uh, friends no divorce lawyer we can simply write for, for example friends no lawyer like this or for example friends no divorce lawyer just like this and also this question give a lot of uh, of, of opening in the in the subject line always if for example this person never never uh, open your email just put a question in the subject line and, and this person will open the email right and to that i would uh, like to add my two things so whenever i send any email you know i always make sure that i'm asking a question at the end like you know uh, let me know if you're interested with a question mark yes. because mostly i've seen when you end the mail with a question mark you tend to get more reply as compared to what you know a normal email which you put in so that yeah. thing has worked for me Correct. so you yes, can also put your, yeah you can also put attractive lines like why can't people find you your business quick question about your business so you have to quick request or something like trying to connect so it has to be like uh, what i said before call to action it should be like right. it should be right. basically attract the person to open the email that's it right right so she doesn't yes, matter what can, you write yeah, is exactly but try yeah. to try to be contact within 60 words 60 right. characters sorry 16 characters right so yeah. shini yes you can use the domain name however like hitesh has said you uh, know it should be attractive and it should be as as short as possible yeah okay so before i move on to next question i have to tell you that i have shared the telegram group link in the chat section you can join the group with us for upload mentorship on there with your expert uh is this a new group the way or the old group no the uh, group when we are in the okay okay thank you and, and don't go away we have a very very big announcement coming up at the end of the session yes yes okay a next question is any idea of an easy online crm any idea about an easy online CRM. CRM, I, okay. I personally use Snob.io and Hunter.io. So this is my experience. The easiest one is use Google Excel sheet if you are starting out and if you have one settled, try to use other CRMs like paid CRMs like Snob is uh, at times of costing around $39 to $79. I've been using Snob.io for a long time, but now I don't use it. I'm building and also I'm building one more tool which is a basically a domain managed kind of thing. So soon it will be out, maybe in the month of August. So. Then we have next question from Sabhin Khan. Which country to target for people who are starting domain? Okay, you can target some uh, country that English is their mother language. United States, United Kingdom, Canada, Australia, New Zealand. That works better. Don't, for example, uh, target uh, some countries that uh, speak, for example, German, Spanish, French. Yes, it's true that you can still dominate, but right. it's uh, preferable and recommended to start with people that talk in English, not in other English. Yes, and especially when you're starting, I would recommend you just to stick on uh, United States. And once you get some good sales, maybe then you can move on to Canada or maybe, you know, a uh, uh, UK market as well. But first of all, you should always focus on the US market because I think most of us have been, you know, doing sales in the US market only. And also, the uh, thing is that... Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. And also, I would uh, only... <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, also in the, the cities that have a big uh, population, Big cities, they, you can make a lot of money in, in big cities. This it, it not mean that the small cities doesn't have a lot of money, but the big cities is easy to sell comparing to small cities. Right. So whenever you're choosing any city, uh, make sure it has a population of uh, you know uh, more than one million, and if not one million, I think hundred thousand. Not, uh, not not one million. One hundred thousand would do. 
and the keyword should have a good cpc and a search volume as a you said 100000 i think it's a minimum uh, we should look for right yeah correct correct, correct. but uh, if the cpc is good around 50000 let look for the cpc if the uh, yeah, cpc uh, is also an important role right yeah and you're starting out us and canada is the best uh, next question is from anonymous tendi do you make any exceptions for the gd valuation exception what do you mean by exception i didn't get the question deva do you make any exceptions for the gd valuation by exceptions as in do we use any other thing apart from uh, the quoted valuation is that what he meant i didn't get the question exactly me too uh, your question is not very clear but uh, i will I think that uh, I personally don't believe in good GD valuation, but to convince a client or to basically push a client, you have to give that GD valuation so because GD valuation is the only tool which is freely available to all of us. If we give a estimate valuation, it is not accessible by everyone because it's a paid right. tool. So GD valuation is the best tool. Yeah. And also, uh, lots of people are trust in good edit. When they say that good edit, that that good edit appraises this domain, for example, for one thousand, they will see that this person uh, or this domain has some value. Otherwise, good edit will not appraise it in this price. Okay. So next question is from an anonymous attendee again. Where can we find the recording and the previous ones? You can find the recording on the YouTube channel named as Urban Skill. You can find all the previous recordings as well there, and this recording also will be posted in a day or two. Okay. So the next question is from Omar. How do results of how do results of using automated campaigns on SNAP versus manual email sending compare? How can we compare the results of using the automated campaigns on SNAP versus manual manual email? When you will work on um, an automated system, this will gives you a lot of time to find uh, some more leads. You can, for example, do outbound for three domains in the same time. But when you start doing, for example, outbound for uh, using manual sending, you can only work on one email. Why? Because finding leads, sending emails, doing follow up, these things takes time. This is why. Uh, for me now i'm using the automated system but as a beginner starts with manual sim okay right but i i think his question was uh, what's the response ratio when you're doing it manually and when you're doing automatically mm -hmm. so what do you think you know what's uh, whether you were getting more responses when you were doing manually uh, from like 100 emails which you used to send or maybe uh, when you're sending 300 emails what kind of response are you getting i think that's the main question What's the response ratio? It depends. It depends on the on the domain itself, and also depends on the niche. There is some right. some some uh, some domains that I get uh, a response rate of fifty percent. Wow, and there that's is some huge. Domains, and there is some domains I get a, a response rate of just ten or fifteen percent. Uh, I got a sale. It depends on the on the domain, and also depends on the quality of the lead that you. Right. You collect from uh, from the tools that I shared with you. Right. Thank you. Next question is: Do you use custom email or personal email to outbound? Custom email or personal email. I'm using Gmail account. First name, last name. Dot Gmail. Dot com. But I <laughs> use. Uh, oh, sorry to interrupt you. Go ahead. No, no, no problem. Okay. Continue. Yeah, so I personally use a, a domain name, a business domain name, so that you know it looks more authentic. And I also add my website link at the end, so that you know one can just go up and see that you know this is not a spam, basically, and they can have a look. It's an authentic, you know, a uh, person who has been sending emails. So I personally use uh, the the uh, business domain name, but like people like IU and other people have seen, you know, they are using Gmail as well and getting pretty good success. I think Ayub, you can talk about how you use Gmail, and if you get any questions that you know, do you have any online presence or not? Uh, you know, while sending it through a Gmail ID. For for a professional email, I I use I I already use professional email, but I uh, see that lots of my email go to spam. This is why I stick with Gmail because Gmail go to inbox. 
Okay, so but when you're sending through uh, Gmail, like you said, I think I saw you, you only add LinkedIn at the end, right? There is no yes. website which you add. Um, for now, I don't push push a website, but okay. I already uh, buy uh, first name last name, my first name okay. last name. Right, right. And I will I will create a good website on this. So, do you get any questions like you know how can uh, we you know uh, prove like you know trust you that you are a genuine person you know with the do you know you don't have any internet presence as in you know website do you, do you get some questions like that from no, the clients i i only i only have some questions just like the proof of, of the ownership of the domain uh, okay. uh just i redirect the my the domain i'm trying to send to his main website and it works but right, right. this kind of thing that how can i trust you and stuff like this i never get it I used to get that, so that that's the reason I created, you know, the business uh, email along with the website. Not much. This is why I put the LinkedIn profile. Right, right. At least you have something to prove that you know it's an authentic person who's sending an email, right? Yes. And also the same, the same picture I put on the Gmail is the same on LinkedIn. Oh, nice, nice, right. Also give a trust for the buyer. Right, right. And we'll move on to the next question. That is, which one is better, Snapchat.io or Sales QL, uh, QL and why? Uh, for me, there is no better than another one. Why? Because sometimes when you are using a lot of email finders, sometimes Snapchat.io can find some emails that Sales QL doesn't find. And sometimes Sales QL finds some domains that the, the, another one that doesn't find. And sometimes Kendo does uh, Kendo the, the Chrome the Chrome extension find some emails that the other one doesn't. This is why I don't recommend sticking with one email tracker. Use many email trackers to find some good domain and always verify if these emails are working or not. Okay, so we'll move on to the next question then. Hi, is this trigger setup required? for each lead or we can import all the leads that will be applicable to all leads in that spreadsheet. He's talking about some trigger setup required for every lead. He talked about- when, when you push the trigger, it will be applied for, for everyone to read the email. Yeah, it's and for the complete campaign, for the complete drip campaign, which have set up for a particular domain. So trigger is for the complete uh, complete one, not the, for the individual lead. Unless you you, you finish the, the drip content, but if you let it open, each time you, you add a new email, it will uh, it will be the same, that, just like the other one, uh, all the people. Okay, then uh, Omar says that, don't you think using automation, one second one second uh hi listeners and viewers we are we are live on uh, facebook as well and we are live on clubhouse as well right if you want to ask any questions uh in facebook live just type in uh in comment box if you want to ask any questions in clubhouse just raise your hand and you can directly ask your questions to the speakers thank you Yes, and next we'll move on to the next question that uh, from Umar. He says that don't you think using automation tools like Snop can result in Google email ban? This is why uh, I said at the start you must get a uh, good repetition of your email. Don't start sending automated email uh, just like an idiot. Sorry for the word. When you sign when you send the automated email, send just a little little email uh, five to to six to ten and uh, this is why i recommend starting with sending manually because sending manually and get a reply will give you also a trust from google this is why I don't send a lot of email at the, this this is my advice to everyone and right, for the so so okay. to interrupt you, are you, yeah, so you should basically warm up your email ID before starting sending the, you know, official emails. And I think uh, there is new feature by GMAS, you know, wherein they're offering you free uh, email uh, warm up services as well. Maybe I can let you know about that, you know, uh, offline in the Telegram group, uh, the link for that. And you can use that to warm up your emails automatically. And once it's warm up, 
warmed up, then you can start sending emails. Okay. Okay, so we move on to the next question that is from Karan. In how many days we have to start sending email after making a new Gmail account? You can send email from the first day, but don't send it as uh, for commercial things. Send it to your friends, to your family, right. to warm this email. And after yes, that, after getting the trust, then you can start doing commercial things with the, the Gmail. On an average, a new Gmail ID takes approximately two weeks to warm up. So you have to wait two, week, two weeks to basically send a commercial email. Okay, and expect a, right. a less bounce rate for that. Before that, as you said, send to your friends, send to your relatives and ask them to reply on that email address so that it gets warmed up and it builds a reputation. Right, right. Yeah. Next question. Uh, Next question is from anonymous attendee. Utsav, uh, this is to Utsav. How how can we get the invitation to sell domain on Clubhouse? So basically, you're looking for an invitation on Clubhouse. Definitely, you know, you can join the Telegram group, and I can send you the invite for that. So just make sure, you know, Divya has sent you a link uh, in the chat option to join the Telegram. Once you join that, you know, you can just mention that, and I'll give you, a, uh, I'll send you an invite for that. Thank you. And guys, those who are asking for the recording, so to tell you again that this uh, recording of this session will be posted on our YouTube channel, that is with the name Urban Skill. You can always visit there to watch the recorded session. Also, you will be getting an email, follow-up email, post the session of, uh, once the recording is posted. Then we have next question from Naveen Modi. Should we quote or mention the price of the domain upfront in the first email? Never. Always. Show the price when he asks you about it because you are contact, contacting the buyer to give him some value and create an interaction between you and the buyer. Never talk about price in the first name. Always talk about the price when this person asks you how much and then you can send them the good idea of present and give you asking price. Okay? okay. So next question is from Amran. Do you go with the same criteria of selecting a name for domains that are already on auction? Yes. For me, I don't go a lot uh, on auction. I pick the name from the drop from the appraisal. I generate the domains using the method that I share with you. And also go to pend and delete and pick up the domains using the discount clip from the drop cash. I don't went a lot to the auction, but in the auctions, I manually focus on the domains that are registered in a lot of CE. This is yeah, the yeah. kind of domains that I mentioned. I have also one question to Ayub. Uh, do you pick domains from GoDaddy Closeout as well? Yes, there is some domains that I pick from GoDaddy uh, Closeout using the same criteria. Right, right. And what is your, your, your experience about that? Picking domain yeah. from the GD closeouts. Yeah, I already sold many, many, many uh, domains from closeouts. Uh, sale range from uh, 300 to 900. And also, I use the same criteria to pick the domain. So I don't have a problem to pick a domain from closeouts, from the drop, from generation domain, and also from the discount. Fine, thank you. Okay, uh, then we have the question. Next question is. A question to Utsa, what alias do you use with your business domain name? Is it, for example, sales at domain.com or first name at domain.com or something else? Utsa, the question is for you. Yeah, so I have uh, my first name dot last name with the business email ID. Okay. So next question is, um, it is probably a compliment again. I was wondering if you guys have ever done an outbound session with Yogi and shared the recording link. No, we haven't done any outbound session with Yogi till date. Once we do, we'll definitely be sharing this link. So anonymous attendee is contacting via contact form is good rather than email. Okay, first thing that you start, you have to look for 
uh, Eman of the CEO, the president, the director of marketing, someone that have power in this company. If you didn't find, you can contact the generic email, which is info dot the domain name dot com, or contact us or marketing dot is domain name dot com. If you didn't find and you find uh, no method to contact them, search for, for example, Facebook page or stuff like this. The Facebook page, perhaps that you will find the email. If you didn't find nothing, then you will click on uh, the contact form and uh, complete the contact. Right. So, like I said, uh, contact form should be the last option. You should first try to, you know, get the email ID, uh, you know, either from the website or from the email finders, you know, uh, websites we have like snob.io or hunter.io. You can also use Facebook. And I have personally found out many emails on Instagram as well. So, you can use Instagram as well, you know, to find out the emails. Most of the people, especially people who own real estate and, you know, divorce, they have mentioned their email ID on the, in their bio on Instagram as well. So you can find from there as well. But contact form is always the last option. Uh, uh, hey, are you, uh, I have one question from Otar. Otar, can you ask? We are live on Zoom. Can you ask? Yes. Uh, hi, guys. So my, my question, Ayub, is um, when you're doing outbound, how... How long after your your first email should you you know follow up? And when you're doing the follow up, it should be email or it should be phone call. Okay, I personally use only email. After the first email, I send another follow up after three days. When this person again read the email, I always try to see if this person read the email. After this person read the email, I will send another follow up. If this person doesn't read the email, I will send them another follow up, but using another subject line, which also gives you the opportunity to be to have an exposure uh, in front of this, this, uh, this buyer. So personally, I use only email. I, did, I never, uh, I already started doing some, some calls, but I focus only on, uh, on the email. Okay, so we have the next question as how much a full time domain is? Yes, uh, you can ask your follow up, Otan. Sorry, Sorry well, so uh, let's say you, you send a follow up email, right? Or, or you send the first email, you get no response. So again, you, in three days, you send the follow up email. You get no response. That's it. You, you forget about or do you, you know, give it a week or two weeks. I keep sending follow-ups until the five, I send five follow-ups. If this person never reply, one thing, I, I will let him go at this time. I will let him go and focus on another, uh, another buyer. If I sold the domain, I forget about this, this, uh, this buyer. If the domain was not sent, sold, I will contact this lead again. For, uh, I will contact person that uh, already interacts with me. And I will see how many, how many times this person have read the email using the email tracker. After a few months, for example, two to three months, after that, I will contact him again and bring again the lead and uh, start interaction with him and uh, give life to the lead. And uh, I sold many domains that just like this. And, uh, let's say... The person asks you how much. You give them price. They don't answer for a while. You, I mean, email them again. The price is, you know, five hundred or eight hundred, and they say, "Oh, it's too expensive," or "It's not in our budget." You tell them, you know, how about we have a payment plan for you, or do you tell them, you know, the price is negotiable? What can you offer, or, or, or you know, here is the price. You don't pay eight hundred, pay you know, five fifty. Okay. When someone, for example, asks you about how much, and you give him the asking price, and go deep, and again you send another follow up, and can, then he replies with it's too expensive for me. My last ten was like this. The person say to me it's too expensive. So, well, what we will do? Simply, 
you will send them some data about the domain name, for example, the search result, CPC, to give the, the power, the value of this domain name. Also, you will send them some comparable sales of this domain name. For example, this domain name was sold for this price, this one sold for this price, and so on. Just like uh, you see to him that domains like this doesn't be sold, doesn't sold for uh, less price, uh, no less than this range. If, for example, the similar sales, for example, you ask about 500, and the similar sales, some of them are, uh, for example, 600, 300, and uh, 200. Then you will give them a small discount of, for example, 10% uh, or stuff like this. And you give them, I will do good method. You can, for example, uh, pay now, uh, let's say, for example, 400, or we can do a payment plan of two months and close it. That's all. Thank you so much. No problem. Okay, so I'll come on to the next question. That is, how much a full-time domainer can make as a newbie using manual sending? Okay, at the start, it will be a bit harder for you because uh, you didn't do it at the past. So you will start now and send the email. It will uh, get you tired. After making the first sale, you will get motivated. You will do it again and again and again and again, and then after doing outbound manually for one domain, you will can, you can do it for two, for three, for four, and then when you will make a lot of money, then you can start doing automated. I don't, I, I can't tell you the, uh, the much than the, the exact uh, income that you can do, but it depends on the quality of the domain name that you pick, the quality of the negotiation skills that you have, and also uh, how many, how, uh, how Salesman, you are salesman. You will you will become a salesman after uh, after getting a lot of experience. So I can't tell you the real numbers that you can. Next question from anonymous attendee is dot net and dot us good for outbound. I don't for me. I don't recommend uh, doing outbound for dot net dot us and stuff like this. Always stick with dot com. Why? Because when us contacting, for example, people that already own .NET and .US, we always recommend them to uh, buy the .com rather than keeping .com. So for me, I don't recommend doing outbound for uh, .NET and .US. Okay. The last question is from Bebe. What do you use to track emails sent manually? You use to track email sent manually. I use uh, mail track. Mail track, uh, the, the tool that I share with you a few minutes ago. I, I a lot of tools like mail tracker is there. Email, uh, there's one email tracker dot website also for Zoho. You can use Zoho uh, mail tracker. Yeah. Yeah. I think we are done from the question from the audience and uh, I check the Facebook live if not have any question as of now. So anybody else, if you have any questions, please type in. I think one more question. Can we use mail track for multiple email ID? Yes, you can use it. And you can also work on the free version of mail. It works better and very good. I personally use mail track for many emails. It's no problem. Same works for email tracker dot website, but for Zoho, you cannot do that. Zoho just set up and configures with only one email ID. So we are done with the question answer from audience. If guys, if you have any more questions, please type in the QA section. And uh, thank you, Ayu, for answering and thank you for the wonderful session as well. And we have a lot of uh, compliments for you in the chat section, also in the QA section, that it was a wonderful session and elaborated one as well. Now, apart from this, I think Uttal has- We have another, we have another question. Yeah. For how many domains we have to do outbound in a day? If you can do it for 100, you can do it. 
but the problem is uh, finding the good leads, the targeted leads, not only uh, taking any kind of leads and send in. If you can do it for 100, you can do it, but you have to find the good and the targeted, which takes a lot of time. Uh, we have one question from Clubhouse again. Uh, yes, you can ask. Yeah, so that's sort of the same question I was going to ask. Like, if you're outbounding a name, how many prospects should you be sending email to? You know, how many is too much? How many is okay? Like 50, 100, 200? The more is the better. If you find 200 targeted leads, this means that you have the chance of selling the domains as fast as possible. But if you find just 20 or 50, I don't, I will not say that it's not enough, but I can say that the domain that you pick doesn't have a lot of value, which will uh, give you, uh, which will be a bit harder to sell this domain. That's all. The next question is average sold domains by month, geo domains as a part time domain. What if you saw, if you saw, for example, one, one domain per month, mm -hmm. uh, you sell it, for example, for 500, that's an average, uh, average, uh, sell, sell per, per month. That's it. But you must, you must focus on finding the good, the good leads and the good domains. If you find the good leads and the good domains, you will make a lot of sense. So next question we have, when I put my uh, outbound domains on marketplaces like jan.com, is it better to price them or use make offer only to avoid price pricing at lower or higher than the expected price from the potential buyer when doing the email marketing? Okay. Uh, when you list a domain name on DAZ on, or DAN, uh, it is better to do make offer, not make the asking price. But if you see, for example, that people are interacting with you and reply, for example, someone reply with how much, let's say, for example, ask how much, and you go to, for example, done, you put, for example, 300, and you say to the buyer, for example, 300. This buyer, uh, perhaps that he go directly and buy the domain. At the start, put, for example, for me, my experience, for the, at the start, put a uh, big offer, and after that, put the 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 bin, the uh, buy it now. Okay. Okay. So next question we have from anonymous attendee: What we have to do if IP and email was blocked and uh, going email to spam? I never I never get this. I just give I had a ban from Google, but. I put the phone number and I receive, I get the email box. I never get banned completely from Google. Fine. Thank you for answering, Ayub. Uh, probably this was the last question from the audience. So we have some of few announcements to make, but before that, I think Uttar had some questions for you. So, do you have any questions? Yeah, 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 sure. So, Ayub, uh, you said that, you know, for every uh, response you send, you know, for how much you you uh, attach the GoDaddy value, the appraisal for that, and along with that, you mentioned the asking price. So, have you started doing this, you know, after, uh, you know, I think the strategy has been followed by Yogi Solanki, which he mentioned in one of his podcasts with Alvin, right? I think you heard the strategy from there and you started applying that. Is that correct? Yes, it's correct. Yes. Okay. So, were you like following any other strategy before that, or you started with uh, strategy before only? that? Before that, I I didn't send them the the good appraisal, but I send directly my asking price. I give them some value. For example, this domain has a search volume that has a CPC, and domains like these are not cheap. And here is my asking price, or I ask about how much, uh, or make offer. I ask the buyer to make off, uh, but given the appraisal of Goodeddy, make me uh, make change a lot, a lot of change because appraisal of Goodeddy give uh, to the buyer a trust. So when he see that Goodeddy appraisal domain for 
for that price, they they get motivated to buy the domain. Right. But, uh, but before you know, that, I, go ahead. But go ahead. before that, I didn't mention the good idea appraisal. Right. Right. See, I think uh, everyone has their own strategy and own you know secret sauce for selling domains. If I talk about myself, I have tried you know. uh whenever i used to get a how much price initially i used to tell them the price upfront that this is my asking price i have lost few sales for that and then i started using yogi solanki's uh uh you know the the one which i use is uh, using the godaddy appraisal one but yeah. the only mistake i got mistake i did was i didn't used to ask you know mention my asking asking price i just used to mention that this is the appraisal value on on godaddy how much would you like to offer and then again i lost few you know uh, potential leads after that then i started following one strategy is that let's suppose if i'm willing to sell a domain for 300 dollars i would ask them that 500 dollars or maybe 499 is the asking price however i'm open for a offers as well so this will give a leverage to that uh, you know buyer that you know this is the price however he can also throw his price as well and once i'm mentioning 500 dollars so he makes sure that you know he doesn't give a price which is like a very low ball like 50 dollars or 100 dollars so i have seen this thing you know if i'm sell, uh, like uh, giving 500 dollars price so i'm expecting at least more than 200 dollars from their end so which yeah. is working you know for me then i negotiate and you know come to maybe 300 or 400 whatever you know is the situation at that point so that thing has been working for me but i would definitely try what iu is doing you know with appraisal attaching and then asking the price as well i will definitely try that and let i let you know you know if that worked for me or not yes for making offer uh, especially for geo domains uh, i already done that in the past and i i seen that when i give my asking price the sell the sell through rate is better than right. asking for price right why because geo domains that they are not very very premium you can ask for for make offer for premium domain but for zero domain i always uh, ask price why to get a quick sale and to have the cash flow so one before we move on to the announcement we have one more question from the audience that is what percent of gb valuation do you quote as your asking price well uh, sometimes 50% and sometimes 20% it depend on the good id valuation if it was for example the valuation of 1000 i can ask for uh, 500 or 600 and if it was for example just 800 or 700 i can ask for example for uh, uh, 300 and 350 but i never ask for 200 150 and let the buyer ask about it and negotiate the price and close it for a range uh, le- near to this price okay. thank you ayu thank you for answering all these questions and having a patient for us so now i think we are at the word at the end of the session so now i would like to hand over to uh, the taster sabhi for making the announcement so taster over to you Thank you. Uh, thank you, Dr. Uh, before I make, make an announcement, let me share my screen first. And this is my screen. Can you guys see my screen now? Yes. Can you guys? Yes. Okay. So few people are asking me, uh, asking everyone in the this chat, like which is the tool? This is a tool, generate domain name dot com. Fine. I give you a short. uh introduction or short uh, process how to work on this as like if i want to search a basically a keyword then i have to put it like real estate agent don't 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 write it in a uh without any spaces because otherwise it won't result to a uh, give you a result in cpc and uh, search volume okay so top use cities at the end dot com i'm generating it for top cities okay Yes, it is supported by Dean School and couple of other sponsors also. So here is the list. Like this is not available, not available, not available. If it's available, it will show available, and when you click on it, it will go to the uh, GoDaddy buying uh, buy uh, page. Okay. Second tool was we uh, people were asking about the mail tracker. This is the Zoho mail tracker. 
and third one is the email tracker dot website okay this is the tools which i am basically using and let's press this off quickly and now we have the announcement to make okay this is the image can you guess something from this image no okay fine fine i give you a very very small uh, brief about this yes we at dn school are happy and pronounced proud to announce a funding program for upcoming domainers who have started or want to start their domaining journeys in 2021 okay uh it is one of its kind program and the first one from the south asian region it is one of its kind program because i don't think so someone in the world has uh, shown any courtesy to basically fund this kind of thing and uh, dnc will provide be, will be providing a total funding of 1400 usd that is approximately 1 lakh rupees uh, in in indian currency for those who are starting in the domaining or have started domaining in 2021 fine under this program we will be selecting seven candidates from the list of the aspirants okay so you have we will be giving a form it will be a gmail for a uh, gdoc form that, that is google doc form which you have to fill and uh, there are few fields to fill up and uh, it, you will be basically applying in that way and we will be selecting it won't be a, the selection would be a basically a kind of interview it would be random and each selected candidate will get funds up to 200 dollars which they can use to buy any domains of their choice okay so and the lucky seven will be chosen on 13th june 2021 after that webinar after the end of the webinar the selection will be do, done through random generator live in front of you okay it won't be like we will be doing it or we will be basically uh, doing any kind of like uh, favorism to anyone or it would be like uh, any interview or something like that it would be simple random generator we are will be putting your email addresses and it will generate a list of seven people who will be basically a part of this program and in case the person doesn't uh, come uh, opt for the program or leave the program in between then the eighth person will be getting the chance or the ninth person will be getting the chance to do this so i come to i will be covering few main points about this the rest of the discussion will be doing on uh, next webinar on 6 that is next sunday uh you can see now uh, now you can see a link on my screen can you guys see it's https dnschool.org fund program dot slash fund program okay and the will also posting will be posting this link in the chat box simply go to this link fill in all the details before 12th of june and be a part of this great program this uh, there is a one catch actually this funding is only limited to the resident residents of indian subcontinent region that is india pakistan sri lanka nepal bhutan bangladesh and myanmar uh, the ind individual should be 18 years old and should have a little ability to speak english okay we don't require anyone who should be very good in english just a little ability to write english not speak even and how this program will be working like it's like uh, the selected seven will have to find the domains from its part domains gd closeouts or any other list or source and you will get approximately 30 days to find your names these names you will be emailing us at hello at urbanskill.com or any other email we will be providing you soon and you will be we will organize a face to face meeting with you guys and we are i and james who is the expert will personally go through your list discuss this names and your strategies how you are going to sell this domains and how what are your strategies behind behind the opting for these domains then we will be selecting these domains registering your domains on your behalf and then we will transfer these domains to your accounts okay and then you will have around 10 to 11 months to sell this domain how you want to do it it's all 100% on to you whether it's inbound or outbound 100% on you <clears throat> what we want from this from this actually that's the main question we want you to prosper we want you to become independent 
we want your fear to invest in domains go away we want you to get rid of your hesitation and become confident okay so, and what's a catch there's no catch in this even if you're not able to sell the domains don't worry loss is our uh, loss is of begin school you don't have to pay anything but the thing is if you succeed in selling the domains if you are able to sell even one domain two domains then whatever the net amount you get okay suppose if you sell a domain for 100 dollars and uh, sell a domain for 100 dollars and after deducting the dan fees or after next fees you get approximately 80 90 dollars then we will be taking 30% of that net sales from you okay and uh, that's it uh, and if you have any questions then you can also reach out to divya shukla our community man manager at dn school utsav suri a brand ambassador of dn school jay podyal co founder of dn school and of course me hitesh father of dn school and uh, anything you would like to add uh, jay podyal uh, yes i want to add one thing like uh, uh, this is the form and this is this is the form, uh, one 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 more thing this is the form which will open after opening the after clicking the this link will be getting this break. link this form will open up and here you can fill the what uh, i didn't get you i can uh, hear you know break in your voice actually now now it is fine so guys uh, uh, if you want to say something no no yeah no. I just wanted to add some points here. Like we would be choosing winner from uh, random dot org, I guess. That's th third party site, right? We would be choosing from uh, yes, random dot org or any other website, yeah. Yes, and to apply uh, uh, this form, right? And apart from that, see, in in plain words, we would be funding one lakh rupees to the uh, South Asian. um new bees new dominers who had just began their career in 2021 right and if if you know you would be choosing domain you would be selling them we we are just funding them to support you and uh, what we are asking we are just asking see we will uh, guide you we will teach you and we are just asking 30% of net sales if you fail if it doesn't sells then loss is ours right why we are asking this 30% amount because next time we would be funding 2 lakh rupees and and again next time we would be funding 5 lakhs 10 lakhs 50 lakhs who knows so we want to encourage new dominers from the industry that's all from my side and this is only for the people who are starting uh, from this year right now so don't Look no, I it. actually I have a twin. I have a twin, uh, you know, brother who is about uh, to start, and he he knows little bit English. He can speak little bit English as well. He can write as well. I think I I might him ask. I I, I might ask him to join as well. You know, so this can, program. Yes, of course, of course, you can. You can observe. You can ask your brother, your mother, anyone to join. <laughs> right. But it all depends the, upon the random selector. Right, right, and okay. there is one yeah. more thing I would like to ask, sir, if if you allow. So, like you yeah, said, sure. this is only for the South Asian region, right? Uh, people who are starting, but uh, since we have Ayub and I think other, uh, you know, our Moroccan friends as well, so I can't uh, promise that one lakh rupees from my end. But maybe if you can allow them as well, uh, maybe I can, you know, people who are starting up, you know, from from Morocco uh, in this year, I can help them, you know, getting their first fifteen names. Uh, from my pocket, and I think with 15 names, it's a good strategy to start with. You know, outbound, and they can, they, you know, uh, learn some, ex get some experience, and start, you know, taking help from IU as well or me. So I can sponsor 15 domains, you know, first 15 domains for the Moroccan people only. Since you're doing for the South Asian people, so I'll, I'm happy to do for the Moroccan friends. You know, if you can allow them, I'm happy to pay, you know, for the first 15 domains. Thank you so much. We are not able to hear you. Observe your voice. Uh, is this only Hitesh sir who is not able to hear me, or is it everyone? No, I could hear you. No, I okay. can hear you. Okay. Thank you. Thank okay. You so are you? Yeah. So like I said, you know, if anyone who is joining new, I'm not year, able to get your so your voice is breaking for me. Can you repeat the? Yeah. 
Okay, so I was uh-huh. saying since you guys have, I, I'm audible to you. Not able to get you. Yeah, for me, for me, I can hear you. No problem. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no. Uh, okay, so I was saying since you know this this Why? program is only Why is it, for. Why is it breaking for me at the end? I I think everyone is able to hear me properly. Uh, there is some network issue. Uh, am I audible to you, sir? Now? No, no, no. For me, yes. Yeah, yeah. Carry. Go ahead. So I was saying since yeah, go ahead, program, go ahead. yeah, since this program is only for the South Asian mm-hmm. people, and we have Ayub and other okay. Moroccan friends. So I was saying that you know, not one lakh, but uh, I can sponsor like first fifteen domains. You know, for the Moroccan friends, whoever is you know looking to start with the outbound domain, mm-hmm. they can just contact me, and uh, and I think Ayub can make sure that they're newbies, not pro domainers, right? <laughs> If they can, yeah. you know. Yeah, if uh, if they can be honest, I can happy. I'm happy to help them here you know, in buying their first fifteen domains, uh, and they can start with outbounding, and they can start earning some money, and you know then they can do wonders. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, uh, one, so one thing, we have one comment from uh, uh, audience. I think, uh, 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 yeah, c- comment from Amran B. Uh, he's saying rather say people came from. uh uh yeah uh, not moroccan okay. rather yes people came there yes people have come on behalf of a group not from morocco he yes, wants to say that point. yeah follow yeah exactly audience. like moroccan friends from you know who are friends of ayub right yes there is a lot of my audience that they are not yeah. in morocco there is some algerian some tunisian okay. egyptian oh, okay. Mm-hmm. all all arab countries this is why all arab uh, countries it's open yeah. for everyone but they yeah. should know you and you should know them that they are starting <laughs> yeah of course yeah thank you so much you're welcome sir so and thank see, you so much ayub see My what pleasure. i feel is uh, see we give training for free we don't charge uh, if you join our t- telegram group we don't upsell actually right so uh, i mean apart from what i feel is like uh, you must have heard about namescon right namescon used to happen in vegas and uh, america for couple of years and namescon started their events online this time for i think 19 dollar or for newbies it was free what i feel is what i feel is apart from you know going to namescon vegas or namescon Austin to join to learn domaining and spending lakh or rupees. I mean, couple of thousand dollars. By learn from free platform like us, like anyone in tu- YouTube channel, like Ayub. I mean, from anyone and invest those money to buy domain names rather than joining. See what I. This is my personal opinion. Rather than joining somebody's course, you should learn uh, for free. and and uh, invest that amount to buy domain names and and see uh, and and as far as we are concerned or 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 ayub shown their workshop we touched we we are not touching uh, you know few points or few outlines we are going into deep we are going deeper and deeper how to automate snob dot io with example okay uh, okay i mean these kind of webinars we are teaching so deep and you can ask any questions from us personally any r and we have telegram group also i mean that's what i wanted to say yes yes one point if you have money you can also join namescon in Austin or Vegas and enjoy your life. I'm not stopping. You find, uh, you, you know, right? If you see, that's that happened in US and and world is so global. So in online, you can learn and you can invest your uh, money into buying domains. That's all. Thank you, Jaisal, and thank you, Vipesh. Thank you, Ayu, for presenting well and uh, sharing the insights with us. Thank you, Utsa, for being there all round. And uh, any concluding remarks from your side, sir? 
Yes, nothing. That's it. <laughs> I hope it's not good to say anything. <laughs> I would just like to thank Ayub. You know that you know yeah. he was so generous to you know accept our invitation. You know, uh, within a week. So thank you so much, Ayub. You know for uh, coming and bringing your friends as well along with you. So thank you so much for that. My pleasure. And I hope I... you know we can have more sessions like this in future. Yes, thank you so much. It's my pleasure. Sure. I I love domaining. Uh, I love sharing knowledge. I love meeting people in the domain industry. So uh, I like to be here, and it's my pleasure to be here also. A lot of people who are watching are also loving you. You, if you see the chats, you know you're yeah. getting a lot of comments. Thank you so They're much. They're ignoring yeah. all of us apart from you. And, and, <laughs> yeah, uh, thank you so much. It's my pleasure. Facebook Live. We can uh, read comment like. Habibi of Morocco. <laughs> yeah, thank you Habibi. so much. Habibi, <laughs> Trini. <laughs> so thank you, Clubhouse audience as well. I mean, uh, and thank you, Facebook audience as well. And we, we will be posting this webinar on our YouTube channel as well. So thank you to you, YouTube audience as well. Thank you. Also, so we have a webinar next Sunday. So make sure that you join us there too. We'll be posting the joining link in the Telegram group as well as the social media page. Yes. Okay. Thank you, so thank you all. Thank you for the day. I think we are done for the day. Thank you and have a great day. Yes, of course. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, thank, thank you, you everyone. Thank, thank you, you everyone. And you. good night. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, uh, how I can get the Telegram link, please? Uh, I've already shared it in the chat. Text. No, no. He's on Clubhouse. He's on Clubhouse. He's on Clubhouse. Okay. So you can. Email, email us yeah. at hello at urbanskill.com. We will give you telegram link there, right? Hello at urbanskill. U R B A N S so, K I L L. Yes. See, you can uh, catch me on Facebook. You can catch Hitesh Vadva on Facebook or Utsa Suri on Facebook. We will tell you there, right? Perfect. Thank you. Okay, thank you, thank you. Bye bye, all. Bye -bye, I think uh, there is a guy called Sam who's uh, mentioning on chat. Is it urban scale? It's not urban scale. It's urban skill. S K I double -L, L. Yeah, Hitesh sir has mentioned that. Right. Thank you. Is this Sam Charles by any chance? That five dollar five dollar guy? No, no, it's not Sam Charles. It's Sam A. <laughs> okay. Okay. Shalom. That's it for today. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye. Take care. Stay home. Stay healthy. Thank you. Good night. Get vaccinated like, like uh, Jaisar says, right? Get vaccinated. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you for having me, all of you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Good night.